Today on the Dr. Oz Show, he says he can make you thin for the first time on television. But if you look at me, ma'am, and just close your eyes, sleep. The new hypnosis for weight loss. A little skeptical. Can you trick your body into thinking it's had weight loss surgery? It's about 7 in 10 lose weight and are able to keep that weight off. The dramatic results. So you lost 200 pounds? Try it for yourself and decide. This is powerful. Paul, take it away. Next. or 50 pounds to lose, maintaining a healthy weight is a constant battle. So today, I'm revealing the secret weapons in the war against weight. And the first one may surprise you, hypnosis. Now, I believe hypnosis can help control the demons causing you to overeat. Now it's being used differently than ever before to shrink your stomach. A brand new procedure has shown astounding results, the gastric hypnotic band. And it's never been seen or even talked about on TV until today. Meet the man responsible, Paul McKenna. Meet Paul McKenna, the world-renowned hypnotist. He's Great Britain's best-selling self-help author and international TV sensation. And innovator behind the phenomenon, I can make you thin. Who here wants to lose weight? I think I've made a significant breakthrough in the area of weight loss. Right now, I'm a man on a mission. McKenna's hypnotic methods have astounded millions around the globe. Who's had enough of dieting? Yeah! Believers flock to him to shed pounds, quit smoking, boost confidence, and overcome phobias. The old-fashioned hypnotists often use a swinging watch, and they would have this sort of aura of power and tell people very directly what to do. Modern hypnotists tend to think of the mind as a bit like a computer. What we eat, when we eat, how much we eat, take place in our mind. We can reprogram our mind just like a computer so that we eat less and we feel good about ourselves. McKenna's latest revolution? Retraining your brain to believe you've undergone gastric banding surgery without actually going under the knife. Close your eyes. Think about it. It sounds outrageous. But can the gastric hypnotic band work for you? Please welcome hypnotist Paul McKenna. Welcome to the show. Great to see you, Dr. Welcome, my friend. Paul McKenna. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I've been following you, doing all kinds of fun things, learning new things about hypnosis. How effective can it really be for weight loss? And, and give me an idea of how much people can lose. Well, it depends on the person. Uh, you know, I don't think anything works for everybody every single time. But uh, in the studies that I've done where I've worked with people, it's about 7 in 10 that lose weight and are able to keep that weight off. 7 in 10? Yes. It's a big number. It's, it's a big number, and it's not everybody, but it's most people most of the time. You know, it's, uh, it's not uncommon that I'll hear people say hypnosis is a crock. Yeah. That it's just being done to get money off people who are gullible. Yeah. How do you, how do you respond to that? Well, I say, you know, hypnosis has been studied for about um, uh, 50 years now in, in universities, you know, eminent uh, universities here, say, in the United States, places like Stanford and Harvard. Uh, there are thousands of studies, and it, the studies show that hypnosis is very effective for changing behaviors, losing weight, quitting smoking, becoming confident, those sorts of things, mm -hmm. and it's also very safe as well. All right, so before the show, Paul randomly selected audience members interested in hypnosis. Paul, I'm, here's he talking to all of you, and you all look so comfortable up there. Several of you were actually hypnotized. Do you know who you were? They're all nervously sitting out there. So, Paul, please reveal them. Well, I'd like you to look at me. So there's a lady further up here, a lady just wearing an orange uh, jumper. Just look at me. Look at me. And as you look at me, then just close your eyes and sleep. And just relax deeply down inside. There you go. Now, there's a lady there. Lady, uh, that's it. Lady wearing a red uh, jumper there. Just look at me, ma'am. Look at me. And as you look at me, look at me. Concentrate. Close your eyes and just sleep. That's right. And there's a lady sitting here, a lady Come in a, on. that's it, a black and white top. And if you look at me, ma'am, and just close your eyes and then just sleep. And that's it, relax deeply down. Now these people have relaxed into a wonderful trance. And let's do something that hypnotists use, uh, it's an old convention really, which is to show how the imagination affects our behavior. 
So what I'd like you to do is listen to my voice, not only my voice, and imagine there's a piece of string attached to your wrist on your right hand, and it's attached to a balloon, a balloon that's filled with helium, which is lighter than air, so it's beginning to lift your hand up a little more and more. Let your hand float up into the air, and as you do, I want you to think about all the best things that have ever happened to you. And remember those happy, happy times, like you're back there again now, see what you saw, hear what you heard, and feel how good you felt. That's right, and let those good feelings flood back. And in a moment, I'm going to snip that string, and your hand's going to relax down, and as it does, you'll open your eyes, and you'll awaken feeling better than you've ever felt before now. Snip and relax. There we go. Ooh, come on back out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It, it looks kind of magical, uh, but really it's a very simple scientific procedure. And, and I do it in a way where, you know, I want it to look dramatic. Mm -hmm. Come over here. Can I ask them some questions? Sure. This, this is remarkable. Did, did, did anyone here think they were hypnotized? No, but... Hi. What, what, what's your name? Nancy. Nancy. Do you uh, need a stand? If you don't mind, thank you, Nancy. Paul was just talking a few moments ago about people being hypnotized. Mm -hmm. Did that think? Did that apply to you at all? You think? Um, I didn't think I was. I just was very relaxed, and it just felt like natural. I don't even know how to explain it. Did you feel like you could control what you were doing? No, just you're listening to his voice, and your body is just reacting because your mind is like somewhere good and comfortable in your good memories. Were you aware that your eyes back? were closed and your hand was rising up towards the sky? Um, I was aware that my eyes were closed and I just felt like, because he was telling me to, that the arm, you know, the balloon, it felt like something was lifting up my arm. That's fabulous. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. What's your name? Laura. Uh, I'll begin, I'm, I'm just because I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Were you at all aware that your eyes were closed and you were following some English guy's commands to raise your arm? <laughs> I was aware. It was very relaxing, like she said, and um, it just, my arm just started lifting. And when I came out of it, I was like, oh my God. And why did you close your eyes? Uh oh, tell me to. <laughs> Remarkable power. I mean, men crave that kind of power. <laughs> Thank you. And who was the third person? Do you know that you were the third person? You yes. do. So what, what were you feeling when that happened? I just felt really relaxed, and my arm just kind of went up all by itself. And as soon as he snaps the string, it just falls. So you all had very similar experiences. You, didn't do, you weren't doing something you didn't want to do. But you're willing to do it even though people were looking at you, wondering what the heck was going on. I wasn't aware that anyone was looking at me. I was in a <laughs> totally relaxed state. Well, you know, it's the profound power of, hypno of hypnosis. And I got my first taste of this when I was in medical school. Uh, and there was a lecturer came, and we all thought it was a bunch of bunk. And he started actually hypnotizing us. And he did this experiment that I just saw a similar version of it. And I began to, for the first time, realize the power of suggestion. So, so the power of hypnosis is what's allowed Paul to create this brand new procedure is called a gastric hypnotic band. You know how you have a gastric band to squeeze your stomach? So Paul's created the equivalent of that with hypnosis. So Paul, how can you, if you can, just begin to explain the procedure to us? Well, uh, as you say, it's not the actual real physical procedure where somebody, uh, say, say you take um, uh, the stomach the size of, uh, of a melon, you want to make it the size of a tennis ball. If you tell someone that, what happens is they do it in their imagination and they signal satiety to signal fullness. Mm -hmm. So people suddenly feel full, they don't feel like they're missing out even though they've left half the food on their plate. So when Paul first told me about this, I'm a little skeptical. I suspect some of you are as well. So we decided to test this power of hypnosis uh, on three women. Uh, and these three viewers were the first ones that we're aware of, uh, in our country anyway, yep. uh, to, to check its effects out. And it's never been shown on television, uh, but here's their story. I really want to lose weight, but I love my food. I'm eating all the wrong foods in large portions. Whenever I have a plate of mac and cheese and fried chicken in front of me, I eat the whole thing. I'm hoping that this hypnosis works, because if it does, I'll be struck a new body in 2012. Make sure you're comfortable sitting or lying down in a place where you can safely relax for about half an hour. Imagine how it will be as you eat small, delicious meals. You'll find more strength as you feel the hypnotic gastric band. I'm supposed to eat consciously and chew my food thoroughly, and if I have to, in between bites, to sit on my hands. Now he said to chew my food 20 times. It takes a little longer, but that way I am able to enjoy my food. This technique is working. I'm excited. And as you can see, I couldn't eat the whole thing.
Let's meet Angela, Bridget, and Desiree. Welcome all to the show. So, Angela, it's been five days yes. since you started the experiment. What do you think so far? Is it working? Oh, yes, Dr. Oz. It is definitely working. And I'm ashamed to say that I usually drink about three to four bottles of soda. You do? Yeah, I do. But I'm down to one. You have, and what, what caused you to stop or slow down? Just haven't had the desire for it. And um, whenever I'm eating what I have eaten before, uh, I usually finish everything on my plate. I'm able to leave things on the plate and walk away and not feel deprived. But are you stopping because you're nauseated or because you just don't crave the food? Just don't crave the food. I'm not hungry. Okay. And, and Bridget, how are your experiences compared to Angela's? Um, pretty much the same. I went out to dinner for my anniversary and I couldn't eat maybe a third of the meal and, and I was full. Okay. And that was it. That's unique for you, I gather. Very unique. <laughs> and again, any nausea, any discomfort? Um, I feel a little pain sometimes in my stomach, like I'm full or that it's tight. Paul, does that surprise you at all that someone would have... I'm asking about nausea and pain because that's what people have gastric banding procedures have. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious if it's gone that far as well. Yes, yeah, sure. If you were imagining it vividly enough, you might get some of the side effects as well. I mean, obviously not to the point they'd be distressed, but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, if and in fact, um, when I talked to a, with, with all three ladies, yes, they said that they'd had some of those effects. And Desiree, when you sit down and start to have a meal, what do you notice has changed? One for me is the nausea. Like, I could get 25% of the food down, and then I'm nauseated. I feel like... Um, Something came over me, and I need to just get away from the table. I even emailed Paul to ask, was that normal? Because I'm like, this is crazy. I eat 25%, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, God, my stomach, I feel like I got to just let go. <laughs> That's remarkable. So from hypnosis alone, you have done anything else, and you're finding that you're getting the same kind of nausea as someone might, who might have had the actual operation would get mm -hmm. if they overate. Yes. Huh. So, Paul, do you think they'll... You know, these three wonderful women are going to have benefits from this hypnosis for a long period? I think they will. I mean, some people need to reinforce it. You know, some people need to do it again and again. And then other people, you know, one or two goes and they're fixed because everybody's different. Um, you know, this is a fairly new procedure. So um, we know that hypnosis for weight loss works, not for everyone, but for most people. Uh, this procedure is real new. As you say, it's the first time uh, it's been done on American television. And, uh, and so we'll have to see what the long-term effects are. In general, does hypnosis wear off? I mean, these three wonderful women that we hypnotize to close their eyes and raise their hands. <laughs> oh, yes, they'll, they'll be back to normal uh, because I've removed all the suggestions. But if you think about it, I mean, you know, we all receive suggestions all day long. You know, when we're, when we're a kid, we're told our name. We never forget that. You know, that's a suggestion, if you like, you know. So uh, some suggestions stay with us forever. And for all three of you, are, are you happy with the hypnosis that you've had? Was, was it worth it, the time you invested to get the hypnosis? Oh, yes, because I've tried everything. Nothing has worked for me. And I know it's only five days, but weight loss at all? A couple me. pounds for me. A couple pounds? I lost seven. You lost seven pounds? Yes. <laughs> I, think, I think three or four. Three or four. Well, I'm just making a rough number up here, but if you guys can lose, you know, 10, 15 pounds in five days, I I'm, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Jumpstart your metabolism when we come back.